Hello and welcome to Bunkum Monthly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know about some great upcoming events taking place here in your own backyard. We're coming to you in this episode from Pack Memorial Library in downtown Asheville. Pack Library, as it stands now since its renovation in 2012, consists of 56,000 square feet and has over 150,000 items available for perusal or free checkout. It also features internet access, free Wi-Fi, word processing, and photocopy services. They're open every day of the week except Sunday at 67 Haywood Street in downtown Asheville. The children's section, located on the bottom floor of Pack Library, is a great place for kids and families to gather together to check out great books and movies, play board games, hang out, or have story time. They even have a lounge area where kids can go to do their homework or relax with a book. For more information about all 12 branch library locations, you can visit buncombecounty.org library. Now, on to the show. Now, normally when you think of Asheville Greenworks, you think of all of their great hard-to-recycle events, river and roadside cleanups. But did you also know they do basic tree workshops? Here are a few coming up in March. They will take place every Tuesday. On March 19th, there will be a class on maintenance requirements for urban trees. Finally, on March 26th, there will be a class on tree protection. If you plan on attending any of these classes, please register by visiting AshevilleGreenworks.org. Also, on Sunday, March 31st, from 10 a.m. to noon, they will be hosting a WABA Haywood Road Cleanup. If you're interested in attending, you can RSVP at AshevilleGreenworks.org, or you can just meet at Zia Taqueria at 10 a.m. that morning. The Office of Cooperative Extension's Master Gardener program hosts a free Gardening in the Mountain series to help make sure that your garden and the food and plants that grow in it turn out their best. Gardening in the Mountains is a series of 90-minute seminars covering various gardening topics offered throughout the year between February and October. They are offered on the third Thursday of each month. Upcoming classes include March 21st on what is different about gardening in Western North Carolina, April 11th class is on summer vegetable gardening. The classes take place between 10 a.m. and noon. There will also be a Saturday seminar on March 16th from 1 to 3 p.m. on pruning small trees and shrubs. For more information about Gardening in the Mountain series or any great upcoming events from the Office of Cooperative Extension, you can visit buncombemastergardener.org. Well, we switch locations from the children's room to the North Carolina room. The North Carolina Room at Pack Library has extensive local history and family history resources. Almost anything that has ever been published about local history in Buncombe County can be found there. There are even online research tools available only in the NC Room that can help you research everything from genealogy, historical newspaper articles across the country, and much more. Well, if you're looking for some fun activities to celebrate the spring season, look no further than Buncombe County Recreation Services Bounce into Spring Adventure Run. This fun race will also include obstacle course stations. Try each station as you run walk around the ponds of Owen Park. Obstacles include soccer ball kicking, archery, trying a slack line, toss a disc into a disc golf basket, and more. It's taking place on Saturday, April 6th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Charles Owen Park, 875 Warren Wilson Road in Swannanoa. For more information about this or any great event sponsored by Recreation Services, you can visit buncombecounty.org parks. Riverlink promotes the environmental and economic vitality of the French Broad River and its watershed as a fun place to live, work, and play. And they can't do that without all of their great volunteers. They have a Spring Into Service event coming up and are looking for volunteers to assist with maintenance of stormwater features along Craven Street near New Belgium Brewery. They will remove trash, prune, weed, and remove sediment from their bioregeneration cells. It's taking place on Wednesday, March 20th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. with a meeting location at New Belgium Brewery. You can sign up to volunteer at Riverlink's website, riverlink.org. Buncombe County is improving access to health services in downtown Asheville by consolidating a lot of their downtown locations into their newly built 40 Cox Avenue Health and Human Services building. After March 25th, the following services will be moved to 40 Cox Avenue breast and cervical cancer control, child care subsidy, food assistance, family planning, foreign travel vaccines, Medicaid, STD testing and treatment, TB testing and treatment, work first, and veteran services. 
because citizens seeking assistance in both public health and economic opportunities already received many of these services at 40 Cox Avenue, it only made sense to consolidate their visit to one location. For more information on the resources offered by Health and Human Services, you can visit buncombecounty.org slash HHS. If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs like Bubba here, cats, and more types of animals ready for adoption. Plus, when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and in some cases, some basic training. Bella is a nine-year-old female black and white collie border mix. She came to the Asheville Humane Society when her family could no longer keep her, and she's definitely ready to find a new home. Buddy is a 10-year-old male retriever mix. He loves going for walks and for an older dog has a lot of energy and an outgoing personality. He is definitely a social butterfly. Haas is a two-year-old male tan and white terrier pit bull mix. He's super affectionate and his tail wouldn't stop wagging the entire time we visited him. Doodle is a six-year-old male black and white terrier American pit bull mix. He is very food motivated, and although timid at first, he is very well mannered and loves going for long walks so he can sniff everything. Molly is a one and a half year old female black and tan mini corgi Pembroke Welsh pincher. She is very shy and good for an adult only home. However, once she connects with you, she's a great love bug. Freddy Fingers is a four year old male domestic short hair mix. He is a very sweet, lively boy who loves interacting with everyone who comes to meet him. He loves to play and will even love nip you when he gets excited. Now those are just a few of the adoptable pets available at the Asheville Humane Society. Please visit their website at ashevillehumane.org to see them all. You can also visit the animal shelter at 14 Forever Friend Lane in Asheville. Well, we switched locations again. We were inside the North Carolina room and we've moved to outside of Lord Auditorium. You can tell because of the great mural behind me. Whenever a pack library has a big event, it usually takes place in Lord Auditorium. Everything from big kids shows to historical discussions to even jazz music or movie nights. Lord Auditorium is a great place for the community to gather together for learning or entertainment. So our region has a lot of great resources in our own backyard for exercise, education, or just clearing your head, our state and local park system. So if you want to take advantage of this, a great excuse is to join our local park rangers for a free wildflower hike. The NC Forest Rangers will host a three-quarter mile hike to observe and identify early spring wildflowers through a diverse ecosystem. You're likely to see Oconee Bells, Trout Lilies, Bloodroot, and more. The program is limited to 20 people, but if there is enough interest, another hike may be offered. The best part? It's free. While the guided hike will last two hours, you're obviously welcome to explore the pathways of the park at your leisure for as long as you like. It's taking place on Saturday, March 23rd from 10 a.m. to noon at the Holmes Educational State Forest. Address is 1299 Crab Tree Road in Hendersonville. For more information, you can call 828-692-0100 or email holmessf.ncfs at ncagr.gov. The Zoom Pass is a great program from our Buncombe County Library System that lets you check out tickets to local attractions for free. And they've got a couple new ones you definitely want to check out. They recently added specific shows at the Asheville Community Theater and tickets to the Greenville Zoo to their lineup. That goes along with their other passes, Asheville Art Museum, Asheville Museum of Science, Hands-On Children's Museum, the NC Arboretum, the WNC Nature Center, NC Stage Company, and the Smith McDowell House. You can make one reservation per library card, and pass details will tell you how many adults and children gain entry with each pass. You have to make a reservation up to 30 days in advance, and you may visit each attraction once every 30 days. For more information about the library's Zoom program, you can visit buncombecounty.org library. We local TV stations need to stick together in Buncombe County, so if you're looking for a different cultural perspective, then check out JM Pro TV. They feature a lot of great programs featuring underrepresented communities in our region. They're hosting a live report coming up featuring a multimedia presentation about JM Pro TV's bilingual community media platform, their accomplishments to date, and plans for the future. There will be plenty of opportunities for networking and learning about how marginalized groups can create and share their own narratives. 
The live report is taking place on Saturday, March 30th from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Cathedral of All Souls at 9 Swan Street. For more information, you can visit jmpro.tv. So we switch locations again. As you can see, I'm surrounded by books and they're all for sale. We're in Bookends, the used bookstore, and it's right inside the lobby at Pack Library. Bookends is a great spot to purchase inexpensive, gently loved books, movies, CDs, and more are added all the time. It's on the main floor of the library. Just make a quick left turn and you will see it. So get some shopping done today for great literary entertainment you won't have to return. The Buncombe County Public Library System is partnering with the Asheville Art Museum for a great story time and art program featuring hands-on projects that's perfect for preschool age students. The best part? It's free. Come join in on the fun with stories and song. Then make a hands-on art project for the little ones. The project is for preschool age students with adult accompaniment and will take place throughout the school year at different locations. The next one is taking place on Wednesday, April 3rd from 11 a.m. to noon at the North Asheville Library at 1030 Merriman Avenue. They are scheduled to take place the first Wednesday at that location during the entire school year. For more information about the series of events, you can call the Asheville Art Museum at 828-253-3227. The Buncombe County Public Library System sponsors many great events throughout the year at all 12 of their branch locations, and here are a few of them coming up. Drawing Class for Adults, a fun drawing class that doesn't take itself too seriously. Learn to draw figures, objects, and draw from your thoughts while listening to some great tunes. There will even be a timed switch draw with other people to see what can be created when great minds work together. Materials are supplied or you're welcome to bring your own. It's taking place Tuesday, March 26th from 5 to 7 p.m. in Pack Library's Lord Auditorium downstairs. Please sign up so they can prepare how many supplies they will need to bring. Just call 828-250-4700. Introduction to Adobe Photoshop. Join local artist and librarian Peter Athos at the North Asheville Library for a beginner-friendly introduction to Adobe Photoshop. He will be covering foundational skills in this free and easy introduction to this industry standard software. It's taking place on Wednesday, March 27th at 6 p.m. in the North Asheville Library at 1030 Merriman Avenue. No tickets are required. Art Adventure for Kids The Fairview Library is beginning a new monthly art club for kids aged 8 to 12. Each session will feature a different artist teaching kids how to create a masterpiece inspired by the visiting artist's technique. They will meet the last Friday of every month at the Fairview Library from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m., a great after-school activity. On Friday, March 29th, it will feature artist Henry Matisse. Finally, Falconry Sport of Kings. Join falconer Eric Harold as he presents the history of falconry. His trained hawk Harris will be on display. The presentation is free and for all ages. It's taking place on Saturday, March 30th at 11 a.m. at the Black Mountain Library, 105 Dougherty Street. Well, we've switched locations again. Now we're on the main floor of Pack Memorial Library, where there's plenty of books, magazines, CDs, movies, and more that you can check out. Pack Library has many magazine subscriptions that save you the monthly cost of keeping up with your favorite periodicals. So if you want to stay up to date with everything from technology, architecture, health trends, and more, they have a magazine for your interest. Well, the Asheville Humane Society hosts many great events throughout the year to help raise funds for animal welfare in our community. One of their more popular events is Dine to be Kind. Join the Asheville Humane Society for a day of dining out to help local animals in need. Participating restaurants will donate a portion of their proceeds to the Humane Society. You can also mark your calendar for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or all three. Takeout is even included. A list of participating restaurants will be available soon. Drink to be kind will also be held at participating breweries. It's taking place on Tuesday, April 9th from 6 a.m. to 11.45 p.m. depending on the restaurant. The list of restaurants and more information about the event will be available soon at AshevilleHumane.org. Now, if you're looking for something fun for your kids to do over the spring break season, why not check out Asheville Museum of Science Spring Break STEM Camp. There are camps for two age categories, 5 to 7 and 8 to 12. The spring break camp will engage your little one in STEM-themed activities all week. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Each day has a theme, including Maker Monday, Dino Tuesday, Slime Wednesday, Robotics Thursday, and Food Science Friday. 
It's taking place the week of April 15th through the 19th. For more information or for more great events sponsored by the Asheville Museum of Science, you can visit their website at ashevillescience.org. You can also check out their great museum at 43 Patton Avenue in downtown Asheville. So if you're looking for more information on anything I've mentioned in today's episode, it's real simple to find it. Simply visit our website at buncombecounty.org or follow one of our many social medias. We have lots of social media, including a Facebook and Twitter page that you can like follow us at by following Buncombe Gov. Check out all of BCTV's great original programming at youtube.com slash bcgovtv. You can follow us on Instagram by searching for Buncombe County, one word. If you don't already have a Nextdoor account, it's a great way for you to connect to your local community and ask questions and get in touch with your neighbors. Plus, if you're on Nextdoor and live in Buncombe County, we send a lot of great information through it. And a great way to get in touch with the county is our Let's Talk platform. It's an online messaging platform found at buncombecounty.org slash let's talk that allows you to have an open line of communication with Buncombe County and helps you connect with county-based services. You can use the online form at buncombecounty.org slash let's talk or you can email let's talk at buncombecounty.org. You can also leave a message at 828-250-4066. Your submissions can be anonymous. But if you want your question answered, or if you're just looking for a response, make sure to leave your contact info. So thank you for joining us on this tour of Pack Memorial Library. I hope you bookmarked some of your favorite events that we talked about. They should keep you busy until next month, when I'll be back to give you some more. So have a great month, Buncombe County.